Well, I'm Pete Lewin. We're at Hardwick Lakes and we're doing an emotional support swim with the Newfoundland dogs. We want to get them out this way. We've got Ralph Walker's um, dog from America. We've got the old boy Sonar. We've got Bob and Storm. Pete and his pets are changing lives. He's a paramedic and puts on emotional support swims for frontline emergency workers, military veterans and anyone struggling with their mental health. Every time I know there's a swim coming up, the first thing I do is look in the diary at work, book myself off. Come on, Walker. Good boy. Good boy. Many of those Pete helps are military veterans, including Kev, who served in the army and did several tours in Northern Ireland. He suffers from PTSD after seeing friends die and narrowly escaping death himself. Swimming with the Newfoundlands has changed his life. I've struggled a lot because nobody got debriefed on any of those incidents. It was just like, it's an incident, crack on, another next job, next job, next job. I don't think I'll be here uh, because I'm, I'll put it as plate as I can. Uh, I've tried suicide numerous times. So yeah, I don't think I'll be here if it wasn't for these. And if I'm honest, be, be second wife. Today, we're going to have a swim with all the dogs. We use them individually. We might use them all together. Some of them come looking a bit down and dejected. They come out of the water upright and smiling. People have said, have I done any research? Have I got any research to, you know, say, you know, to prove the benefits of this? Well, I'm a bit of a simple man. If somebody comes with a sad face and gets out upright smiling, that's a winner for me. Wow, look at him. He just wants to be with you, doesn't he, look? Daddy's boy, ain't you, mate? It obviously helps me, I think, as well, after 27 years on the ambulance service. It works. And if we can help more and more, all the better. The first time I did it, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, you relaxed. Uh, all the emotions that you've been trying to keep in, locked in, inside, just came out. Uh, I had a few tears down me blum coming out at the time as well when we did the silent swim. And uh, you came away from here feeling like, yeah. Today's session will include a quiet swim and Kev will be able to float as Sonar brings him back to shore. Everyone is asked to remain quiet as Sonar approaches Kev. Sometimes they can be out on the lake for a couple of hours. They just swim with the air, they pull the air and the likes, and it's just amazing, if I'm honest. They don't do a doggy paddle. They do an actual sort of doggy breaststroke, if you like, and it's the only dog that swims like the polar bear. Um, they have a big tail, generally, so if we're in out fast water, the tail's used as a rudder. Bob's not particularly heavy. Um, he's 64 kilos, um, but if he was a swimming dog, he's got massive power to pull you along, as is Sonar, Storm, and Ralph, and, and Rama. The swims that Pete has done with all the dogs have been so popular that he's been shortlisted for an award at this year's Soldiering On Awards. Hey, you clever boy. Yeah. How do you feel? Great. Absolutely buzzing now. Thank you. And now it's clearly time for the dogs to recharge. Sean Grescheck, Forces News, Oxfordshire. If you've been affected by anything in this report, there are links to organisations who can help you on our website at forces.net forward slash audience support.